Hey everyone, my name's Odot Master and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. So I was running around and I found some more, you know, cobbled tracks and all that. Um, and we need to go down this way in order to f complete more of the quest. But I got a little side quest where there's a spirit wandering around and I did steal from some of the, uh, I did steal from some of the crypts because they had really nice stuff. But um, we got a spirit that said somebody stole from their crypt and they can still sense that the sword is here. And I went down further this way and right here there's a sword and it says, I know you. Back you have come. Do you bring my sword? Is this your sword? My sword. Now I can rest at last. This should be helpful. Choose one item from my chest with my gratitude. Um, so I get only one item from the chest. Move your Batuski. One item from the chest. Unidentified amulet, potion of speed, or sapphire. I want the unidentified amulet. And I'm gonna talk to her real quick, and can you identify my equipment and see if she could? No, she can't, and I can't. So... It's almost worth it to go get somebody to identify it for us, to see what it is. But I want to continue down this path now that I've opened... I mean, okay. I'm a completionist a bit, so I'm gonna go open this door and then go down and open that door because then everything will be opened. Also, I don't know how else you're supposed to get into all these crypts unless you had her. Because it's like, nope, locked. And she goes over, she's like, do, 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 do. All right, it's unlocked now. Have fun. I'm like, ah. So she unlocks it and then we just wander in. Sometimes there's good stuff, sometimes it's like three gold. I want this. And I'm gonna get attacked by a spirit. I know. I'm not super worried about it because we're really good. In that, um, it takes a lot to actually kill us. I mean, she attacked the spirit on her own, took it down. Yeah, pretty much everything right now is to sell. I'm not even going to talk about how much, like, my moral compass is shooting- Oh, I can't even look! Darn. I thought I could look and show you guys how, uh, uh, it's probably pretty evil at the moment. But we need to go here to continue on, get the cobbled, and help out everyone because it's Shadows of the Undertide, and that's the main quest, and I keep getting distracted by side quests that are fun, but not what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, there's all these bones here, and there's a lot of cool stuff in them, but I am evil enough at the moment that I'm more worried about my moral compass going very bad. Um, yip, who you be? You be no? You come to kill us? We barricade the door so you not get in. Yip, yip. I am Playa Kyler, and I would like to speak with your leader. Hmm, you not sound like no, but how me knows you can trust you? Yep, there'll be lots down here that tries to kill us. Maybe maybe you a skeleton. Just open the door and you'll see. My guess is we can let you be best not tries to kill us. We don't need no enemies. You unlock the door and you steps away. You come speak to Urko in the back of the room, but you put weapons away. If you pull weapons, you die. Alright, so we're pulling our weapons because I actually kind of want to talk to them. Be glad he listens. Do not draw his weapons or we fires on you. I could probably take most of them, but a lot of them have a... Uh... Thanks. Yip yip grr. Why you comes here? Who you be... Who's so tough do you come past barricade? My name is Playa, I just want to talk to you. Talk is good, yep. He just tries not any fights as we talk. Yuxa, what you doing? You stops. Erko, we must kills it. Women be dangerous. Yes, women are dangerous. Yip yip, you not boss here. Erko be boss, let's him... And he says talk, so he talks. Me is boss. Now it talks with half-elven woman you not stop me. You half-elven woman, you see gnolls outside crypts? Maybe? Yes. Um, danger here, danger outside. Me just wants to be a good leader. And I'm sure you make a good leader, Urko. Me is smarter than rest, so me is natural leader. Yep, everyone follows me if they knows what's good for them. Not everyone. Deacon not follow you. Deacon! Yuck, so you shut up. Keep, keep. Deacon be bad couple and runs off. Urko be leader now. 
Deacon. Who is Deacon? Deacon is a big fat coward cobbled who runs away and leaves us here. We like Deacon. Him sings such pretty songs. Only female cobbles like stupid bard. Him be big thief and take our magic. You shuts up, Kipper. You're not supposed to talk about that. Why we got work with such stupid cobbles? Deacon's Deacon was not so stupid. Um, what did Deacon steal? None of your business. That's right. You not need to know about tower or mummy hand. You be so stupid, Kipper. Why you not shuts up and let Urko and me talk to stranger? You both shuts up. Me thinks me to demote both of you. Me sorry, Urko. No demote me, please. Me not tells her that we got still got's hand, Kip. Their eyes gleam with intelligence, but their mouths prove their eyes wrong. Oh, Kip, me does nothing wrong. Kipper be really stupid one. I need the mummified hand. No, yep, we need hands to protect us from the gnolls, but we not knows how to use hands, Urko. How that protect us. Choose your words carefully. We might walk out of here without a fight. Ooh. Difficult persuade. I can protect you from the gnolls if you give me the hand. Oh. And I don't have any of my weapons fit, neither does Donna. So that's gonna change here real quick. Well, um, difficult persuade did not go well. And, um, Donna's healing herself and protecting herself. And I'm killing. Oh my goodness, I do not know how we are. Donna's almost dead. Or Dorna. Dorna, you need to survive, please. I don't want to be down here alone. Um, how about I go kill stuff that's trying to hit you? Alright, well, I'm gonna save real quick. Because what I want to do... Something very stupid, but I want to see what the mummified hand... Do does. The mummified hand points you this way. What? Does it tell me where to go next? Why this way? What's so important about in here? So it wants me to go that way, but that way's not possible. Oh, it wants me to go to the exit, I'm thinking. Maybe? I don't know, that's weird. Muffied hand is pointing me a direction. Um, we got everything from the crates and such, and now I have to go all the way around to get back to the entrance. I don't know what this pressure plate does. It says it steps on it, it clicks, but nothing else happens. I think it was supposed to do something um, to the cobbles, maybe. I don't know, they're dead now. So we have literally done everything in the crypt. Um, we did the- we got this cool cloak from that room. We helped the other guy in the other room. Uh, we're basically- Your backpack shakes as you feel the mummified hand trying to escape or get your attention. Basically good. Which direction are we- That direction. Um, it wants me to go down? I'm thinking I have to go down first, but that's cool. So basically I have a thing that'll direct me to whichever way I need to go. And it's supposed to lead you the way that the other artifacts are. Which is nice because there's no more cobbled. Oh boy, um, there's no more cobbled uh, tracks. There's a knoll here. It did not last very long. This is what happens when you go around and level your character a little bit too much, and you like to hit everything. <laughs> but it's nice, because I was able to take down the cobbles without completely dying. Okay, the hand wanted me to go this way. I don't- dying man. Bloomberg is destroyed. I'm seeing this as there are null archers everywhere. He was trying to warn us, and I- clicked on him because I thought he, I would have to walk up and say hi. Um, well, I mean, at least there's things to loot, but yeah, they literally killed everything. Come out, stupid cobbled. Ooh, there's a cobbled in there, and that's what we need because the cobbleds have both of the artifacts. Both or all of them. I don't know if it's both or if there's more than one. 
but I do know that they have artifacts. Really, Dorna? She just pulled all of the gnolls that weren't originally att paying attention to us. Are you kidding me? They would have been fine. We should have just left them alone. Why did you go? <sighs> Can you kill the one that's on you? No. Okay. Well, the one that's on you is dead. <laughs> is she stunned? I don't know. The shaman keeps casting stuff at her, which thankfully it's at her, not me. But I would very much like to kill the shaman. There we go. Murder! We need to break in and get this cobbled. Why is this building still standing? Must be something important inside if it was spared. And you go up and you, you click on the door and the door's unlocked. Deacon! Yes! What happened here? Why are you in the ruined store? Mm, Deacon not knows what happened in Little Village. When Deacon comes to Human Village, he sees Knowles here already. Maybe they raids it? Deacon come to Little Store to hide because nobody here. And you didn't give the Knowles any help here, I suppose. Deacon speaks the truth. He not hurts nobody. He hides here and waits for you. You must be great half-elven hero you are. Deacon need your help real bad. Yeah, why- Why does everyone have to bring up the fact that I'm a half-elf? Um, you need my help? Well, Deacon not hurt nobody in village. Deacon only go on raid because Master tells Deacon to. Deacon is servant to Master. Deacon sings songs, tells tales that keep Master happy. That's why Master send Deacon on raid, so Deacon write story for Master later. What are you, some kind of jester cobbled? How interesting. That doesn't explain why you're here. Only Deacon do something very bad. Master will be very angry at Deacon. Deacon cannot go back to Master, not ever. Deacon's so frightened. Who is this Master you speak of? Master is great dragon Tama Farrar, ruler of cobbles. Very scary he is, very sharp teeth, very bad breath too, but he think Deacon very funny. Go figure. Um. So this Timo Ferrar was behind the theft of the artifacts. Master tells Cobbles he wants them to go to Human Village and steal magic stuff, so yes, he behind it. He cannot know why Master wants it all. Dragons are greedy. I would like to still like to know how he even found out about them. Cobbles be attacked by Nolz on my home anyway. They want to take the artifact away. Master will be very angry. He can shake when Master angry. Why do these Nolz want the artifact? He cannot know. Maybe because Nolz be greedy. We ran into a scared, deep, dead place with some magic stuff. Not know what Nolz do after. So what am I supposed to do against a dragon? Or right, you could talk to him, maybe. Deacon talked to Master all the time. Deacon says, you talk to me now, Deacon. So Deacon talks. One time, Master says he could not sleep, so Deacon talked to Master for two days straight about mating habits of orcs. Finally, Master snores and poor Deacon collapses. Well, you know, whatever works. I'm not so certain your Master would listen as Pilot tells him a two-day lullaby, that's for sure. Master be very smart. Deacon be sure he listens to great half the hero if he just gets to him. Or can I find him? Go north into the mountains, you find Cobbled Caves. Master lives below Cobbled's big, big cavern. Hard to miss. Maybe you could come and show me. Oh, no, 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 no! Deacon cannot go near Master. Deacon be so scared of what Master do when he knows what Deacon done. Uh, what did you do that was so terrible? Deacon, he carries little tower statue when he leaves Human Village. When Noel's attacking he inside, he drops little statue. Statue is all broken up because of Deacon. He cannot bring it back to Master because Master be angry at him. But if Deacon stays away, Master be even, Master be even angrier. You broke the statue? Is that even possible? Will you give it to us? Deacon's not- Deacon knows you look for the little statue. Deacon, he gives it to you if he helps him. That good idea? Give me the statue and I might consider helping you. Some, uh, sometimes Master says Deacon is dumb, but Deacon not that dumb. Deacon just a little cobbled he, he, to you. He gives you a statue and you leave him high and dry. Um, so how am I supposed to help you? You be great, have a hero. Deacon knows this. He be watching you. You go and take out Deacon's old master time- I'm supposed to kill a dragon? Maybe he talks to Master and makes him let Deacon go, makes him free Deacon, then Deacon gives you a little tower statue. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Ooh, Deacon just knew you would help him. He just knew it. Deacon is so happy, but still a little scared. You go and finds old Master and do what you're going to do. Deacon stays here in the little shop and hides. You come back when you're done, okay? Oh, we're gonna get our butts kicked. We are not suited to fight a dragon. And I'm pretty sure with all the rolls I've been doing that weren't, like, the DC rolls, that there's no way I'm gonna be able to talk him into letting Deacon go. Look, another gnoll. Let's take him out first. Oh, there's another gnoll behind me that's trying to murder my face. Alright. Short range time. I do- I did, um, this last time that I leveled, I did choose point blank shot as a feat. So the reason I wasn't able to hit as well before is because I had, um, 
they were too close and you rangers get a debuff when something is so close to you. So now that I have the point blank shot, I no longer have that issue with it, you know, being with, um, I no longer have the issue of things being too close and giving me a debuff so I can't shoot them. So we need to go north into the cobbled hills and take out a dragon. So we met Deacon already, um, if you've watched my other Neverwinter Nights series, but we didn't know the story behind why we knew Deacon. So now we uh, know the story behind why we knew Deacon. Oh look, cobbled. Help me here, Corona. Please. Yeah, I think it's easier as a ranger just to pull out daggers when things get too close. Nathan Hurst in the front hand. It's cool. I wanna sp No! She wants to talk with me. Let's stop and talk for a moment. Um uh, what was it you want to say? The farm it seems familiar, maybe from overhearing Master Drogon and one of his visitors. Hurst, Nathan Hurst, that's who lives here. I heard him and Master Drogon discussing something. He described how to get here in good detail. Dorf knows how to interpret directions in the lay of the land. This has to be the place. You know this from one overheard discussion? I remembered it because of what he is, not because of what he said. Durger, a deep deep dwelling Durger out of his proper place. You surprised me with your intolerance. It's just a matter of fact that it's kinder driven to the darker things in life. I can't say we should torture his farm, just you should be careful. Warning note, I'll be extra careful. I'm glad. He's probably no threat, but I don't know what he's capable of. Just be careful, that's all I'm saying. Oi there, stranger. If you come looking for treasure, just keep on going. You're fine. No easy pickings in this home. Nathan Hurst has a spirit more fierce than a dozen wolves. Just tell me where you are, where you're from, know if you're a friend or foe. I am Playa, a pupil of Drogon's back in Hilltop. Ah, Drogon. Well, do I know the old dwarf. We have shared a glass or two on a cold night. I think I remember you now. I saw you from a distance when you were speaking with Drogon. I remember seeing you with Drogon one night about six months ago. You were discussing planting and harvesting, which seemed an odd topic for someone like Drogon. Adorna, yes, you were interrupting one of our fireside conversations. We were speaking of you and the other pupils, not real agriculture. Drogon thought he had found a good crop of seeds in you four. Be welcome then, but know you come in hard times and not, and not to look for me for great hospitality. Have you been bothered by the cobbles too? Aye, there was some trouble from the wee scaly folk, but there's always a trouble from one group of monsters to the other. We defend what be ours with little worry. The reason it would be dark time is that my daughter, Becca, who has been kidnapped and cannot leave my pregnant wife, who has been close to, so close to term. The babe could come at any moment, but I swear to Chanta, when the child is born, it will have the hill giant for supper. The drunken oaf Rumga will rue the day he turned a villainy. Tell me more, perhaps I could help. There be giant hill, giant, there, there be this hill giant named Rumga on account of his serious drinking habits. Despite being a bit strange, he actually made a fair neighbor as he never got along with goblins. Never had any serious problems with him till now. Two days ago, I'd be milking my cows and all of a sudden heard my daughter screaming. Coming around and just time to see Rum got run off with a sack on his shoulder. He took her to his cave somewhere on the west. Yeah, I can help you. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. And I'm asking some background stuff. Oh, all right. So we go to the west. I really would like to sell some of my stuffs. So the west. Um, oven crypt. I see more tracks up here. But what we're looking for is the hill giant's cave. Black bear. Oh, no. Okay, good. I was like, that's a that's a lot of help for a bear. Let's not. See, and I want to identify some of this stuff. I don't like scale mail and other armor and all that. Rumgut needs a wife. Oh no. This is gonna be a weird one. But I think I'm actually gonna leave this episode here. We helped out a warrior spirit. We met Deacon. Um, to find out that we need to take out Deacon's master before we can get the tower statue, which is another of the artifacts. So I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, if you like, please leave a like and comment down below. I really look forward to comments. And I will see you all next time. I think it's Sunday. Yeah, see y'all Sunday. Bye!